Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at setting up a TDAR server and node on a Windows system, and also how to connect a Windows node to a TDAR server running on Unraid. Sounds interesting? Then let's get started. Okay, so let's get straight to it and set up TDAR on Windows 10. Okay, so here I am on my Windows laptop. So I'm going to open a browser and go to the TDAR website. From here, I'm going to head to the download page. Here we can see Windows, Linux, Mac OS, ARM, Docker, and good old Unraid. It's nice to see Unraid listed in a download list. Anyway, I'm going to click on Windows here. And here we've got the downloads for Windows, Linux, ARM, You'll be interested to see how this works on Raspberry Pi. I can't imagine it would be transcoding very fast, but I may give that a try in the future. And finally here, Mac OS. Now I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download this Windows one here. And I'm going to save this onto my desktop. So here's the file on the desktop. I'm going to unzip that. And so here's the folder unzip. So in here, we've got one file called TDAR Updater. So I'm going to run this. We're going to run as administrator. And this will download what we need to run TDAR on Windows. And once downloaded, it will all be in the folder that the TDAR update was in when we started. So we can see two folders here, TDAR server and TDAR node. And inside these folders are the files needed to install either the server or the node. So if you're already using a TDAR server elsewhere, for example set up on your Unraid server, then you would not need to install the TDAR server on Windows. You would only need to install the node, and then have that node connect to the main TDAR server. However, if you're only going to be doing transcoding, running on the machine that the node's running on, in this instance on this Windows machine, then in my opinion it would make more sense to run the node and the server on the same machine. So in this video, I'm going to set it up under both scenarios, installing both the TDAR server and the TDAR node and running it all on one machine. After which, I'll show you how to just connect the TDAR node to another TDAR server, which is running on my Unraid box. Okay, so first I'm going to install the TDAR server. And to do that, I'm going to run the little green file TDAR server inside the TDAR server folder. Windows Firewall will ask if you want to allow access. You want to allow that to go through. And then everything will be downloaded which are needed to run the TDAR server. So now the TDAR server is all up and running. Now we don't want to close this window because it's all running in a terminal window. We can see the IP and port number that TDAR is running on. And below that here, it tells us we can access the web UI on localhost and then port 8265. So if we open up a web browser and put that address in, then just like on the Unraid server, exactly the same, we've got a TDAR server running. Of course, there's no nodes detected yet because we haven't set up any nodes. So let's minimize the browser and go and install the node now. So, like I said, I'm not going to close this window. I'm just going to minimize it so it stays running. So now if we go back into the main TDAR folder and then into the TDAR node folder and run that little green file called TDAR node, just like the TDAR server, it's going to ask us to allow access through the firewall and it will download and set up everything we need. OK, so now if we go back to the TDAR server, so now we can see the nodes running here. It's been also named here Mad Myotis. And to use TDAR, it'll be exactly the same process as in my earlier video on Unraid. Now I'm not going to go into great detail setting up the node in this video. I'm not really going to go through the transcode options or anything like that. If you want to see that, then see my earlier video where I go into more detail when I set up a node on Unraid. So even if you don't use Unraid and you only want to set this up on Windows, it's still worth watching that video as TDAR runs exactly the same on all systems. OK, so let's continue and quickly set up a library. Now, to choose the location of the source file, we can click on Show Browser and use TDAR's File Browser to browse to the folder we want. Choose where the source files are, which we want to transcode, and also set the location for the transcode cache folder. Obviously, all of these locations are on the local Windows machine. Now, you can transcode files that are anywhere on the network so long as you have a map network drive to it. I'll show you that in a moment. And just like my first TDAR video using an Unraid server, we need to choose what transcode options we need. I'm not going to go through that now. You can refer to the other video if you want to learn how to do that. So 
So just like before with the library all set up, we just scan the library for new files. And on the node, set the amount of CPU and GPU transcodes that that can do. And then TDA will start its transcoding. So that's very straightforward, transcoding with TDA on Windows with local files that are on the Windows hard disk. So now let's have a look at transcoding some files which are not on the Windows hard disk, but instead are across on the network on my Unraid server. Then afterwards we'll have a look at just running the node only on Windows with the server and the files being on the Unraid server. So let's go back to the Windows desktop and now I'm going to map a network drive from my laptop onto the Unraid server. Now I've already got two here so I'm going to add another one now mapped across to my movies share. So now if I wanted to transcode from here if I look at the movies map network drive drive letter it's the letter X. So now let's go back to the TDAR web UI, to libraries, and then choose the source folder. Now when we click show browser here, and we try and find the network drive, you'll see here that network drives are not listed. So what we can do, is we can just put in here the drive letter, a colon, and then a forward slash. So this is mapping the TDAR source to the root of the X drive. Now you can see here for me it says invalid folder here and that's just because the share is really really big with thousands of files. Any moment now that should go away and we should see the files populate. Okay so there they are everything's okay. Okay and so for the transcode cache I'm going to leave it as a local file on this machine. But if you wanted to again you could map this to another network drive. So again just to test this I'm just going to scan for fresh files and we can see that's transcoding. OK, so let's move on to the probably more interesting part for most people. Using the node, but connected to a TDAR server running on another machine, in this case on Unraid. OK, so here we are back on the Windows desktop. Now I'm going to open up a browser window here. And here on Unraid, I've got a TDAR server running and one node. So I'm going to open up the web UI. And here we can see the node here on Unraid, which uses a Quadro P2000. OK, so I'm going to minimise this a bit, making it just take up half the screen. And on this side, I'm going to open my TDAR folder on Windows, again, making it half the size, so we can just see the two things side by side. Now, if you watched my last video, you know that in Unraid, when we made the mappings for TDAR, there we had two mappings, one going to our media share in a container map to forward slash MNT forward slash media. And in fact, when I set this up, it didn't go directly to where I stored my media, but rather to the root of all of the shares in the Unraid location forward slash MNT forward slash user. And then from there in TDAR itself, I went from there to the movie share and also to the TV show share. So I'm just pointing that out because in a moment when we map to the same location in Windows, I just wanted to kind of point that out now. Now the other location I've mapped to is to inside the container forward slash temp which goes to a share which I'm using for the transcoding cache. So now if we go across to the TDAR web UI and look at those same locations and one of my libraries here, that library is pointing to forward slash MNT forward slash media which I had mapped to the root of the user shares in Unraid and then afterwards forward slash movies to be into the movie share. And for the transcode cache, obviously that was just mapped across here to forward slash TMP, which on the Unraid template was mapped across to the transcoding share. So what we have to do in our TDAR node on Windows is make sure these two locations, these two mappings here, in the TDAR node, that these go to the same place. So in the TDAR folder, as well as the TDAR server and TDAR node folder here, there's another folder we can look in called config. But let's open that now. And we've got these three .json files here, which are config files for the node, server, and the TDAR data. So obviously we want to edit this one here for the node. So I'm going to open this with a proper text editor. I'm using Notepad++. And here we can see all the config for the TDAR node. Now the important bit for the mapping is this bit here where it says path translators. And here we have server and node. So here, this server part, this is the location in the server. So this is just like our Docker mappings, the location in the server 
or in the container. For this mapping here, the media library in the TDAR server, this is forward slash MNT forward slash media. So in between these quotations here, that's what we put here for the server location. So obviously underneath the node location, this is going to have to point to the same location here, which is the root of all of my shares on the Unraid server. Now by default, Unraid doesn't share this location as a Windows or Samba share. So that means from Windows, by default, we can't map to this location. But a few years ago, back in 2017, I made a video showing how you can set up what I call a root share. So if you want to do that, have a look at my two minute tips video called One Share to Rule Them All. So let's have a look at the root share I've set up on this Windows laptop. Now here's the root share here, which goes directly to forward slash MNT forward slash user. So if I open this up here, there's my movies and there's my TV shows. And also we can see the transcode temp share here as well. So this location here is mapped to the Z drive. So over here in the node configuration to that location, I just need to put Z colon and forward slash. So now in the Windows node, the forward slash MNT forward slash media is mapped to the same location here on the Unraid server. So if we have a look back on TDAR and this library here, the forward slash MNT media forward slash movies here on the node goes to the root share, the Z drive, and then to movies. Okay. Now, this isn't the only way to better map to this location. If I didn't want to set up a root share, well, I don't have to. You can see what I've done here as well, as I got a share, this X drive here, that goes directly to the movies. Here are all my movies here. So what I can do, instead of mapping to this same location here, which is in the Unraid template, this location here, I can actually make a mapping, not only to forward slash MNT forward slash media, if I go inside TDAR here, I can map directly to this path here. So instead of the server location being forward slash MNT forward slash media, I can make it on the end forward slash movies. And then instead of having this map to the Z drive here, I just need to map it here to the X drive. And that will do exactly the same. Now, in my personal opinion, it's better to use a root share across to here. Because then all of your future libraries, you know, whether you're going to other shares like TV shows or whatever, you're not going to have to make multiple path translators for different libraries in the configuration of the node. But actually, we are going to have to add another path translator to the node config for the transcode cache, the forward slash temp. So what we need to do here, we need to add another path translator for another server and node location. So after the close of this bracket here, we need to put a comma and then on a new line, just open another curly bracket and then type the same in quotation server, colon space, and then again in quotations. Oh, and actually back here, I'm going to get rid of that bit of white space I've got in the beginning here. And the server location, obviously, I'm going to put forward slash temp and close the speech marks. After that, I'm going to put a comma, new line, and in quotations, put node colon space and then in quotations again i need to put the location of where this share is here now again i can do it two ways i could either create a separate share here going to the transcode temp and then put in that drive letter here but also i could just put the location inside of my root share here and then the transcode temp here so it doesn't matter which way you get to that location so long as it's actually pointing to the right place. So I could just have this as the Z drive colon forward slash transcode temp. And to finish this, just on a new line, we need to just close those curly brackets. Now, any other locations we wanted to map? After the curly brackets, we'd just put another comma and then just do the same again. Okay, so that's all of our mappings done. But now if we go to the top of the file here under node ID, we can change the random name that the node ID is given. I'm going to call mine after the laptop, Razor Laptop. Then the line underneath that here, the node IP. Here we have to put the IP address upon which the node is running. So I'm going to see what mine is now. 
and my IP is 10.10.20.90. Now it says here this is a DHCP address, but I have my router using address reservation always give my laptop this same IP. So it's a good idea that you set a static IP or address reservation with the router because you don't want this IP address changing through reboots if you're going to be using the TDAR node quite regularly. So let's pop the IP address in here. The node port we can leave it as is. But the server IP, again this is important here, we need to put in the IP address upon which the TDAR server is running. So for me, this is 10.10.20.199, the IP address of my Unraid server. So I'm going to pop that in. And so with that done, that's the configuration of the node complete. So I'm going to save the file and close the text editor. Now I want to go back to the main TDAR folder, then the TDAR node folder and run the node. If everything's good, I shouldn't see any errors. And I should see at the bottom here, it's saying node registered. So I'll minimize the node. And I'm going to go back to the TDAR web UI. Let's make this full screen now. Now here I can see both the nodes. The Unraid one here with the Quadro P2000. And the Razer laptop. Okay, and now we can see a transcode going on the laptop. So everything's working fine. Okay, so that's the end of setting up TDAR on Windows. In the next video, we're going to do exactly the same, but on Mac OS. Now, I really hope you found this video useful. And if you did, I really appreciate it. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share the video with anyone else who you might think will find the video useful. Now, I just want to say a really big thank you to all of my patrons and supporters out there. Thank you so much, guys, for all of your support and making it possible for me to make these videos. Anyway guys, it's time for me to go now, but whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good, and I'll catch you in the next video.